Hello everybody, I'm Thrash Maniac HD, and as the title of the video says, yes, this is the top 20 best matches in WWE in 2013. Now, overall with matches this year, like the main matches on this list and six honorable mentions, this year's in-ring product for us WWE I'd say it's been the best it's been in uh, in a while, I would say, myself. Because you had a lot of great in-ring wrestling matches that were on this list. Now, the six honorable mentions were great matches, but weren't good enough to make the list. As whenever these matches... Some of these matches were on the halfway point list that I made on my main channel, Thrash Maniac 99 and a note, I will be back making videos on there once that stupid copyright strike goes away in about three and a half months. So give it time. But, the six honorable mentions. First, Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan from Night of Champions. I thought it was a great match, but they had a better match before this happened. And you'll see, and you'll see the match on this list coming up, but I thought it was a great match still. Oh, and also another note, star ratings are in the description box for every single one of these matches. The second honorable mention from Raw back in May, The Shield versus Team Hell No and Kofi Kingston in a six-man tag. I thought that was a great six-man tag. Star rating, of course, in the description. The next two are NXT matches. First, Sami Zayn and Kurt Hawkins from NXT on September 18th. I thought that was a great wrestling match. And then another NXT match and also another Sami Zayn match. Sami Zayn, Jack Swagger from NXT back on September 4th. And that match was, holy crap, what a hell of an in-ring match. The fifth honorable mention, CM Punk vs. The Rock from Elimination Chamber. I thought it was definitely better than their Royal Rumble match, but the Chamber match was a great match between those two. So, yeah. And then the final and sixth honorable mention match, John Cena vs. Ryback. Yes, I said it. John Cena vs. Ryback from Extreme Rules. In that last man standing match. I thought that was a great last man standing match. With an awesome finish. With Ryback spearing Cena through the stage. And and just busted him up and exploded. That was pretty cool. Now we get to the top 20 list. Um, not really a lot changed. From the halfway list. Only about four matches. Three or four matches are different on this list than it was back when I made the list back in August, the point from January till SummerSlam. So, yeah. But, number 20, Brock Lesnar, Triple H from WrestleMania 29. I thought that was the best match of the three-match series M2 had dating back to SummerSlam 2012. I think this match gets underrated so much by so many people. I thought this match was a great match match, and Triple H won, of course, but this was a great match, and it was the second best match of WrestleMania, I would say. Number 19 is The Shield versus Team Hell No and The Undertaker from Raw on uh, in April, around April. A great six-man tag, and it was the first time Undertaker had a match on Monday Night Raw in in a long time, as well as the first time Undertaker had a match that happened other than WrestleMania during a year since WrestleMania 25. Or actually, no, Mania 26, I'm sorry. <sighs> but yeah, that was a great six-man tag that I would say. Shield, Team Hell No, and The Undertaker. Hell of a six-man tag. Number 18, a match that happened last night from TLC. Randy Orton versus John Cena in the TLC match for the World and WWE titles. I thought it was a great match. 
the best match I'd say in the entire rivalry of uh, Randy Orton, John Cena, going back six years. I think that was the best match they've had one on one, in my opinion. Number seventeen, Sami Zayn, Adrian Neville from NXT on November twenty-sixth in the number one contenders match to get a title shot at Bo Dallas. I thought that match was um, was a phenomenal match between two great high-flying technical wizards. And, yeah, that match was awesome. Number 16, Cody Rhodes, Gold Dust, The Usos, and Rey Mysterio versus The Shield and The Real Americans from Survivor Series. I thought that was an amazing Survivor Series match. And Roman Reigns, the MVP of that match, and just kicked ass in that match. And yeah, that match was amazing. Number 15, Alberto Del Rio versus Christian from SummerSlam for the World Heavyweight title. That match was excellent. An excellent match between Del Rio and Christian for the World title. It's a shame Christian did not win the title that night. But it, it is what it is. Number 14, Alberto Del Rio versus Dolph Ziggler for the world title at Money in the Bank. I thought that match was great, though they had a better match months prior, which I'll get to here in just a little bit. But Del Rio and Ziggler from Money in the Bank was a great match. <laughs> Number 13, the SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder match. Cody Rhodes, Dean Ambrose, Antonio Cesaro, Jack Swagger, Damian Sandow, Fondango, and Wade Barrett. I thought that was a hell of a Money in the Bank match. But the highlight of that match, two highlights for, of that match for me. One, Cody Rhodes doing the muscle buster to somebody on a ladder in the corner. And two, and most importantly in that match, seeing Dean Ambrose skin the cat on a ladder, as the real as uh, the real Americans were holding the ladder up, Dean Ambrose skinned the cat and got up and tried to tear break down the briefcase from doing that. I thought that was awesome. Number twelve, the Raw Money in the Bank ladder match between CM Punk, Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan, Christian, Sheamus, and Rob Van Dam, who made his return that night. I thought, in my opinion, that was the better of the two Money in the Bank matches that night by an edge because of seeing RVD perform well that night and that was a hell of a Money in the Bank match right there. Number 11, Daniel Bryan versus Seth Rollins from Raw back on June 10th. I thought that was one of the best in-ring matches of the whole year in Raw. <sighs> But yeah, that match was great. Number 10, now we're in the top 10, and I preluded to this match a little bit ago about Del Rio and Ziggler. Number 10, Alberto Del Rio versus Dolph Ziggler from main event, that's right, from main event back in February 13th. That was a, the best match they've done on that show. It was a phenomenal match. And this was when Ziggler was holding the Money in the Bank briefcase. <clears throat> and he wanted to show that he could beat Del Rio one-on-one, -on -one, head-to-head -head in a match. And they went out there and put on a phenomenal match. But yeah, now to number nine, and I preluded to this a little bit ago when I mentioned the whole Brian Orton feud. This was the best match of that rivalry from Raw on June 24th. Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton in the Falls Count Anywhere match. That was a hell of a Falls Count Anywhere match. I love that match. It was so awesome. Number eight. Rob Van Dam versus Chris Jericho from Raw the night after Money in the Bank, July 15th. That match. I loved that match. That match was so, so great. Two guys who are in their early 40s showing they could still go. And with them one-on-one -on -one against each other, made it magic happen. That was an awesome match on Raw. Phenomenal. 
an RVD one, which was cool, to set him up for what he was going to be doing the next couple months afterwards. Number seven, Daniel Bryan in that three-on-one gauntlet match he had the week after RVD Jericho happened, but that portion with Antonio Cesaro, which was Daniel Bryan versus Antonio Cesaro, that portion was phenomenal, in-your-face, in-ring wrestling. That match kicked ass. Number six, Undertaker CM Punk from WrestleMania 29. I thought it was a great match, and uh, the best match of WrestleMania, for sure. But yeah, Punk Taker put on a hell of a match that night. Now we get to the top five. Number five, the SmackDown Elimination Chamber match from Elimination Chamber, which was Randy Orton, Jack Swagger, Mark Henry, Daniel Bryan, Kane, and Chris Jericho. I thought that match was amazing. I thought it was uh, one of the best Elimination Chamber matches I ever saw. And... And it's equal, and it's got a bigger rating because I was surprised that Jack Swagger won that match. And this was when he was just returning from being absent. And he returns a couple weeks beforehand, gets in the match, and wins. And here we thought he was going to win the world title at WrestleMania, but he screwed up by getting pulled over for being drunk and high and DUI and possession of pot. And uh, now he's back into obscurity, but he's doing good with the Real Americans, but, yeah. Number four, Daniel Bryan, John Cena from SummerSlam. An amazing match. That was, an, that was one of those pure wrestling matches you could ever see from John Cena. John Cena went toe-to-toe -to -toe with... In my opinion, the best in-ring wrestler in WWE today. Phenomenal. Number three. Now, all three, this next three matches were five-star matches, in my opinion. Uh, so, yeah. But number three, Sami Zayn, Antonio Cesaro from NXT on August 21st. Words can't describe how, how, how much of a classic that match was. Number two, CM Punk Brock Lesnar from SummerSlam in a great match that had a lot of different elements to it. It had the in-ring wrestling, it had the great brawls, and a tiny, teeny touch of MMA in it. That match had so much elements to it, and it was a great storytelling match, phenomenal match. Excellent. And then number one, my opinion match of the year for WWE this year was from February on Raw, CM Punk, John Cena, number one contender to face The Rock at WrestleMania. That match, wow. I don't think it was, it's close with their match at Money in the Bank 2011. That match they had on Raw was what in-ring wrestling is all about. And I know some people are going to be like, oh, you only like the match because they did the pile driver and Pug carried him. And, I, and to that I say, shut up. This is my list, my opinion. If you have a different opinion, that's your opinion. In my opinion, this was a great pure in-ring match. And no, Cena didn't get carried by Punk. Cena played his part. I always have to point that out to those dumbasses out there who think Cena only has great matches because I carry him when he plays his part, people. Come on. But anyways, Punk Cena from Raw back in February, absolutely phenomenal. One of the best matches in the history of Monday Night Raw, bar none. And yeah, that does it for this Top 20 2013 WWE matches. And of course, the six honorable mentions, you want to see the star ratings in the list itself, they'll be in the description box. Check them out for yourself. And I want to see you guys make a video about what do you think were the best matches from WWE this year. 
either leave a comment or make a video yourself. I would much prefer to see the videos because I like to hear what you guys have to say. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Peace.